great pleasure. I want you to help me welcome Connie Stouts. So, uh, you can understand me? It's loud enough with the micro microphone. So, um, Martin Koyman and Johan asked me to give uh, you a short uh, overview about the evolution of bonding psychotherapy as a senior therapist. Uh, and I'm very glad to do this. The most what I'm telling now, you know. Uh, I will, uh, um, when, I, when I finish this part of the evolution and the history in, 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 in short, uh, in short lines, and it's my personal view, it's not a, 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 a other says another view, a view to it. Uh, then I will uh, make an, uh, a view of the future. What are the, maybe the challenges of future for the, for the bonding uh, evolution of the whole society? And uh, if I have time enough, I want to um, present a new study we did in the Adora clinic with uh, the structural impact of changing of structural issues by the therapeutic community. Uh, and uh, we have, da have data, the first data from this research, and perhaps it may be very helpful not to forgive, uh, no, no, you know, forgive. <laughs> <laughs> because forgiveness is my favorite topic. <laughs> Uh, to uh, not to forget uh, the combination between bonding psychotherapy and the therapeutic community, as uh, Kessler as the founder did it with Ariba, uh, and uh, because what we found there has a big impact in changing structural issues, and we have now an instrument to measure it. So um, perhaps is this an, an outlook uh, to how we can go on our um, the society and the. Uh, the yeah, the evolution in the future. Um, so, you all know this uh, this man, uh, Dan Kessel, the founder of bonding psychotherapy, and uh, he was born in 1924 and died in 1983. I personally met him, met him in Germany in the clinic of Walter Lechler uh, in 1974. Uh, he was a psychiatrist and trained in psychoanalysis by Abraham Carliner, and Carliner itself was trained uh, by Freud. So we have a very psychoanalytic original root in this movement. And uh, then he uh, met uh, Chuck Deberich, who was the founder of Synonym, and based on the synonym experience and psychoanalysis, uh, he uh, wrote his first book in 1963, exactly 50 years ago. Uh, we have now 2030, uh, 50 years ago, his first um, book, So So Fair a House, and later he um, published his sec second book, Day Top, Three Addicts and Their Cure. Uh, for demonstrating the evolution, uh, I have made a picture out of this behind is a tree. You will see it uh, later. So the root is the psychoanalytic uh, approach from Freud into an <coughs> approach. And Freud trained Abraham Kardana, and Abraham Kardana, Kardana was the teacher of uh, Cassio. And then he met uh, the self-help uh, movement of drug addicts with uh, Chuck Dederi, and he got a big influence from this, his approach. Um, and exactly 50 years ago, he introduced a group that technique he called New Identity Process. Uh, and he wrote, I am introducing a new way, con a new concept that are really quite new to therapy. One is a biological need for bonding, and the other is a, a physiological need to express your feelings. So two core issues of bonding psychotherapy. And then uh, he added, most of us have learned to live in isolation, but we haven't learned to live in a warm, loving, human, intimate relationship. We would say now in modern uh, talk of word, 
we did, didn't experience secure attachment when we see the films in, in the morning, how a child responds to it. So um, uh, we need secure attachment to develop the self. I, I don't know if you know that the common ground now from psychoanalysis, from psychodynamic psychotherapy, is the interpersonal, intersubjective theory of self. Yeah? So the, peop the mankind is not a monade which develops and then he may contact. So to develop himself, he needs always contact and dialoguing and attachment to others. These are the, the motor like uh, how the self uh, develops. Um, after expression, uh, expression of emotions, is intimacy and close body contact possible? Uh, even between dog and cat, because both have a neurological, uh, <laughs> a neurobiological based need of bonding. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, if I do her, um, partnership therapy, it's very helpful, this picture, because they are fighting against like, uh, dog and cats. Then the next step was that he published uh, the book, A Scream Away from Happiness, this was uh, the foundation of the earlier uh, theory of, uh, uh, of Dan Cassiel. And, uh, yeah, uh, 1975, Cassiel started to teach therapists in America and Europe. And uh, in Germany, he trained the staff of Walter Leckler. I was a member of this staff, Chef, uh, you come to the training. And so this was the very beginning uh, in, in, uh, in Germany that we could come in contact and get trained by Cassiel personally. And um, at 1976, I became a fellow. It was at that time very, very easy. More, much more easier was to become a teaching fellow because he made grandfathering and he gave you, without any examination, without nothing, he said, okay, you are now teaching fellows. <laughs> uh, it's normally now, we have, it's, it's a training program that is a community evaluate more and more, it becomes more and more too complicated to get uh, in uh, a member of this uh, community. I think uh, quite a, uh, there are good reasons behind of this. Uh, 1977, the Society of New, uh, the, uh, yeah, Society of New Identity Process was founded, and 1981, the International Society of New Identity Processes was founded, and then we changed <coughs> in, in 2000 uh, the title of New Identity Process to a bonding psychotherapy. Uh, I found this very nice picture between Dan and uh, Walter Lechler. Uh, they uh, have a very good and, and a very close connection. And Walter Lechler um, made contact in New York uh, with Cassiel and then he uh, experienced this approach. In the next step, EP was spread over several countries in Europe and South America. And Bondi psychotherapy, uh, I hope it's uh, uh, give you now a, a, a complete overview. <coughs> is now practiced in America, in Argentina, in, and in Europe, in Sweden, Netherlands, Belgium, Swiss, France, Italy, Portugal, Germany, Slovenia. I have forgot some country. Okay. Sorry. Ah, no? Italy, no, no, I mentioned Italy. So this was, uh, so now it spread, the whole movement spread, and we was very, very interested uh, uh, and, uh, interesting, and I, I remember at that time uh, only exp uh, emotion, express emotion, and make a big emotional experience. Uh, nothing works more than, in our opinion, uh, and we like it, and I like it very much. And I, I think I was more than 400 hours on the uh, it method. It was very good for me, for me because I'm more an intellectual at my time. Mm -hmm. And this passes through my, all my resistance, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me personally, it was a very, very good uh, uh, experience. But in the middle of 1990, it becomes evident that the society needs a modern, scientific, and empirically based theory. We need a theory which describes the essence of BP in current scientific terms. 
I got uh, and then in the international conference in Amsterdam, so we meet us and talk about this, how we can do this. The, the, the Dutch people, they, they had started to think about this, and I remember that you had uh, difficulties how to define emotions. So it was very hard what we mean with emotion, what, how we can define it. And then uh, uh, I made the proposal perhaps to integrate the attachment theory in the theory of DP. And in this conference, 1997, I got from the conference the request to develop this modern theory of VP to attach attachment theory. Uh, theory. Then a, a lot of consensus meeting follows the senior therapists, the teaching fellows in Maderno 1998 and 2000, in Belluno, Italy uh, uh, 2001 and 2002 in the Dan Kessler Institute uh, in Germany. And uh, finally, in the international conference in Lisbon 2003, they presented, I present the whole theory. When we, I, every step I, I, I discussed with the teaching fellow in all the consensus meeting, and then I put the whole thing together and presented it in, in Lisbon. And then this was from the board of director uh, accepted officially uh, as the, uh, the, the theory of bonding psychotherapy. Bolby, uh, some remarks to uh, attachment and uh, ba some uh, basic uh, sentences from, uh, from Bolby about this, uh, the core assumption of uh, attachment theory. An overall theoretical framework for understanding relationships. When we have now the theme, the core or the sense of relationship is attachment. Then we address exactly this what Paul we, uh, uh, was talking about. Attachment has a biological basis, protecting of the young, thus providing security. When attachment is secure, there is a secure base from which to explore the world, and the need for attachment is lifelong. You need till to death if you, if you talk with people who company people who are very uh, ill to death, they need a, a lot of attachment and, uh, and caring, uh, not only on the physical, but on the emotional way too. The psychological, uh, Bolby again, the psychology and psychopathology of emotion is in large part the psychology of pathology of attachment bonds. Attachment has a strong neurobiological foundation and requires appropriate treatment for an adequate development. And attachment is formed through early experiences and has a considerable impact on functioning in the adulthood. So, so the problem for me was now to, when I get uh, the offer uh, from the, the whole framework to write the book. And uh, Johan Martins passed me over the 15 questions of EIP. Uh, because I, uh, I, so far I remember it was at the beginning of the new century, uh, uh, Johan tried to, uh, to, to, get the, uh, to apply uh, the recommendations of, um, of EIP. And now it was uh, to integrate uh, this 15 question in the book so we can answer this. This was one topic. Then uh, I integrated the, from the roots here the, the, the psychodynamic interpersonal theory, uh, like Sullivan, it's called the neo psychoanalysis. <coughs> then the attachment theory of Bolby uh, in Ainsworth and all and, 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 uh, uh, and all the work I've done in, uh, uh, in this theory, especially in very grateful to your work in uh, Frau Postman and, and your husband. Uh, because you lay, you lay as a biolog bi biologist uh, the foundation, the foundation work we are, uh, which is the foundation what we are working now on. And uh, my uh, thanks, uh, I, I want to thank you uh, very much. Where's your husband? Sorry. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, then um, the consistency theory. Uh, von Grave, because uh, he said uh, if a person or, or, or a, a, man, a human being could fill uh, uh, all the psychological needs, then he is healthy. And he uh, differentiated this was uh, uh, the need for closeness, the, uh, the need for attachment, for self-esteem, uh, and uh, uh, for yeah, for feeling uh, 
bodily valve feeling and pressure. These are the, the basic of the, uh, of the uh, theory of Grave. And it's, it, this, all these years, theories are very well empirically proved. We can only integrate empirical, good proved um, uh, parts of uh, other theories. And then the next was the experimental psychotherapy. A theory was developed by Greenberg. He did a 25 year long um, research about the emotion focused therapy because this becomes now the, the center that we start this emotion and activate it. Not we talk, don't talk about emotion, we make experience emotion. Yeah? And this is uh, the, the gift of the work of uh, 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 Leslie Greenberg and then to integrate the findings of uh, brain research. And all this, the modern body psychotherapy, is a mixture of all of these parts. Uh, and uh, 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 try to put this uh, together. And um, so the next step now, this was uh, Steve Ellis. He visited me uh, in, in Spain uh, very often, and we walked uh, over. Ulla sometimes get crazy because he so, works so much on the book. Uh, and uh, so this was, was walking in the mountains and then spending the next, the next some holidays. And I must say, without Skip's input, I never would work around this book because who wrote a book is such a, uh, who have done this, uh, such a hard work, you know, to put all the pieces together and all this. And, um, and Skip always motivated with me. Without Skip, the book wouldn't exist. And uh, then uh, I published in, the, in, in Germany bonding psychotherapy in, the, uh, in uh, 2006. And then uh, they, in the same year, Beluno, uh, we presented the, the English version because parallel, um, we translated uh, this book in English and uh, uh, published it. And then uh, 20, uh, 2011, Ramon Vega from Argentina translated the book in, uh, uh, in Spanish, so it is available now in Argentina too. Uh, so it, it spread now over, but what we didn't have, uh, who trains the trainer? As a, all the, they take up the theory and uh, integrate it in their personal work. We have a discussion who trains the trainer in the, in, in, in the in this, it, it didn't happen. I don't know if it is necessary or not, but it didn't, at the time, it was a topic. Then the, the next big step, based on this book, Bodehab um, and Jeff Gordon, as Buddha Chopmiller and uh, Jeff Gordon, uh, presented um, uh, the answering of the uh, of the uh, of these 15 questions and all, all what uh, the research we have done, and they uh, get the recognition uh, of EIP, and I think this is a. Uh, uh, a big effort we have done uh, that we, uh, we, we get it because we never would get the scientific uh, 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 recognition in Germany because it's so hard. It needs one million euro only to do the research, but we have not these resources. But we are now uh, accepted from the EIP and, uh, and I think this uh, is our um, basis now. And, uh, and no other German um, Europe country has this this high level of, uh, of steps we have to take to get the recommendation. So our tree is now uh, well, uh, uh, here we are. Okay. Also, now uh, I stopped here. I put this clinic um, manager and founders, uh, Walter Lettler, and all the clinics arise from the Helen Arbor model. I was the first one in Berlin, and then um, Helen Arbor, and then um, Michael Ogle took it over, and so on, it's, it's spread. Uh, and uh, we have the Adula clinic and the Hofka clinic, now we have the Weizmann clinic, the new clinic, uh, and so on. They represent all the clinic, uh, head of the clinics. Yeah? Uh, then we have uh, the, uh, the scientific, uh, most, uh, most important scientific uh, founders that we integrated in the theory as Leslie Greenberg, Bolby, and this is Grave. And then um, is a lot of, uh, you know, the books, research, ethics from, from, uh, from uh, Peter Gallitz. He wrote a, a, a big um, uh, uh, article about the ethics of body psychotherapy videos. 
will present it, uh, uh, and, and so on. So a lot of uh, creative things happens now. And uh, then we have the recognition of EIP, uh, uh, the help of uh, William Schockmiller and Richard Gordon. And now we are, we are here now, the, the next step is uh, very logical, to build up a training institute and a new training program which addresses all these things. So um, this is what, what we have done in the, in the last year. And uh, so uh, we, I think we are, uh, uh, this was um, due to Johan Martens and Jeff Gordon, you are the, the leader in organizing. And I, uh, I didn't, didn't take part in this job, but I know how difficult this is and how many uh, hours of working and thinking and, and dialoguing this. Oh, uh, so we have now. Um, yeah, this uh, this step. So this was, from my point of view, uh, you know, the, the, the tree of bonding. And now um, I want to make some remarks to um, further challenges. The first one, from my uh, point of view, you know, I think uh, others who have other uh, ideas, uh, to challenge, uh, the f first challenge is to manage the diversity. What you can watch um, now, that there's a modifying of one new psychotherapy that you talk about uh, with uh, abuse or, uh, or the, um, um, the uh, nach, uh, Ute Schreckenberg, uh, 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 very different traits, a sensitive approach how to deal with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, post traumatic stress disorder. Then we have uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Argentina influence with body work. And, um, um, in this breeding uh, and so on and so on. It's not, it becomes a, a more and more diversity. And now it's like the question, what is the identity? It's a polarity management. The identity and what is the cre creative going on in developing of bonding psychotherapy related to uh, certain types of patients. Um, and uh, I think we have to, to manage this uh, uh, this polarity it can be not uh, not only not creative, and we get the uh, we lost the identity. But we can't say the identity would be this and this and this because then it becomes dogmatic. So it's for me a polarity management. No? Uh, and this is, uh, I think, the the job of the teaching fellows and of the leader of body psychotherapy to balance this. Uh, um, I will give you some critical remarks from somebody who is uh, who, who is, uh, uh, loves quantum psychotherapy. It's uh, uh, from Sora Meski. She's a, uh, a student of um, Joachim Bauer, and he make it, uh, he wrote her uh, inaugural dissertation about quantum therapy with the title. Quantum uh, psychotherapy is an old method on the background of modern neurobiological finding. And it was published or, or finished in 20, uh, 2012. And uh, she collected Gregor Vesini, Robert Mesel, and then the whole data collection of the quality assurance that, uh, from the Hofka clinic and of the Helios clinic. But this was the basis. She evaluated all these things and made then some uh, conclusions. The first conclusion from her was the result of the research of Mertens, Visini, Mestel, and demonstrates an improvement of the symptom burden measured by the SER90. Especially the depression scale shows an improvement with big effect size. So she makes the conclusion BP is a body orientated psychotherapy method with, which can play an increasing part in psychosomatic medicine. But she make a critical, critical um, um, note. This the evidence, you know, we, we, uh, the evidence, the field of evidence is very low. Uh, the high evidence is a meta-analysis from a randomized control studies. Then this is level one. Level two is uh, one randomized control study, and we are level three. Efficiency is empirically proved without a randomized control study. I, I think we can't do this. It's a university problem. We have not the resources. So we have reached the evidence level we can in our movement. Oh, uh, <coughs> we find somebody who in the university who can manage this. Uh, 
but on this level of evidence, she uh, uh, she come to conclusions. Uh, uh, the results on this level of evidence presented change of insecure attachment pattern in direction to a secure one, reduction of the symptom burden, improvement of the interpersonal behavior, and increasing the oxytocin level by activation of the motivation system. And these parameters uh, demonstrate that BP is an efficient therapy method. Gregor um, made, Fizzini made this research, if you change only a little uh, the wheel of attachment from unsecure to secure, you get uh, the, the, the more the, uh, uh, on a big effect size changing symptom burden and the uh, symptom burden and interpersonal behavior. If if uh, if you can change unsecure in direction to secure one, then we get all the benefits. Now, a little from this is a big wheel here. Now, so I think the the, the meta goal. Uh, Whatever we use as an uh, intervention technique is to change unsecure in secure one, and this was the definition that we worked out in, uh, in, um, in this one. But uh, she said a critical statement, not all clients get a benefits by BP. For example, there exists the danger that traumatized patient can get re-traumatized, not from me, because I, for this, uh, issue I stand for over years. And we have a lot of controversial discussion about this. Uh, but she mentioned this again. And she uh, mentioned indication and contraindication for this clients are not sufficiently defined. But I think now we, we start to do this, to, to uh, with the approach, uh, exercise, all these things, uh, preparing to, um, uh, to traumatize uh, people or uh, or people with disorder in emotional relation with the structural and the traumatized. Uh, and this is uh, especially, for my understanding, very important in the clinic. What you talk, if you have three years time, this is not a, you know, you start and you go, you go with the process. So, but in the clinic, you have only six weeks. You can't put somebody in a bonding group immediately, uh, and, and you know he's severely traumatized because uh, without any preparing and diagnostics. Uh, this is, for, I think it's, it's, for my understanding, danger and very risky. She wrote, one, only one mistake in the treatment of traumatized patients which get published in UK's newspapers can have the consequences that we the forbidden in Germany. I think we have discussed this, you know, on the, US, uh, on the law level years ago in, in, in the international conference how risky our approach is with, with, if we don't deal with the, the risk in, in a careful, professional way. Uh, and then she asked the question, if he will not survive, I think we have survived already, mm -hmm. uh, without sufficient contact with the university that young therapists get, be, get informed about BP. BP cannot be recommended by professional therapists when they do not get enough information about BP. And without more research on a higher level of evidence which, uh, which proves the efficiency of BP, I think mean, we have not the resources. And without ev an evaluation of indication and contraindication. For me, is this a very big topic uh, to, to, to think about this. Uh, yeah. So these are my requests. Um, Clearing indication, contraindication, managing the diversity in a creative way. So they, 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 there is a development in the whole movement. Uh, and now I want to make some remarks on the project in the Arduino Clinic. We have, uh, okay. Uh, I met Professor Rudolf in, uh, from Heidelberg, who is, he is the main researcher about uh, structural issues in psychotherapy. He did a lot of complication and research about this topic. And now he, uh, uh, and to make a, a profound diagnostic of structural issue, you get a, a 60 hour training and a lot of experience to make an exact diagnosis. You can't read the OPD book and say, I can do it. Uh, I, I, I personally passed this training and, and know what I'm speaking of. Uh, of. And now he developed, um, with the help, a, a, a self-assessment structural 
um, a questionnaire which fill out the patient. And this is tw uh, 24 items only. And uh, to prove it is valid, they make uh, 125 uh, patients were being rated by, an op by experts in op uh, opinion interview. And then they look, is there a correlation between the assessment of the patient and the assessment of the, of the uh, experts? And it really do. Uh, it it, it uh, correlates significant uh, with uh, dot five seven. Uh, so you can use now a clinical, very economic, time economic uh, uh, assessment, and you can measure the change of structural uh, uh, improvement. I programmed in the QS test program this test, and now you can see uh, this client has two focus in structural dysfunctioning. This is the object uh, perception, and this is uh, bonding to internal objects. No? So uh, you can now uh, focus it, what is going on, and to, to <coughs> deal with these both uh, objects that we have to develop um, interventions, uh, uh, how to deal with this. Um, I show this, uh, I make um, um, a training in the Hoka clinic, I made a an um, OPD interview with one patient in the, in the, the whole team is present in a, a classic OPD interview and then before we make the test and then I discuss this with the patient and translate it in his words and so though they get very affected to this because most of the severe structure people said I have a lot of therapy, nothing changed. They only stall it up in, in the mind but not uh, on a structural level. So, uh, the next step, uh, what, uh, what we are thinking of was Ms. Um, Michael Tischinger, the, 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 now, uh, the head of the, now, uh, uh, of the Avila Clinic. How big is the, uh, the structural impact uh, in the system of the clinic? And now we, um, uh, we, we make a research on 221 patients, and then we find out that uh, in the summary, that 44% uh, percent, uh, percent, uh, function on a high and moderate level of, uh, uh, of uh, structural functioning. But I very, was very astonished that 56 uh, have a, a, a structural function on the moderate to low and to the disintegrate level. I never had, would this expect it. This is so big. So from my understanding, you can do classic bonding work with these people. This is really the classic uh, as a dead uh, uh, teach us. Yeah? Because they have the ability of emotional regulation. But they have not a very big part, which is maybe risky or impossible, or you have to think about it. Uh, I talked with a, a with Michael Tischer, and he said from the 130 patients, only nowadays 20 to 40 patients join the bonding group. And they have parallel, a traumatized group, and parallel a skill training from dinner. So this is a, 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 on the theoretical level, in the psychodynamic therapy, they, they uh, differentiate between, between a conflict-oriented treatment class the trauma-oriented treatment path and the structural treatment path. And they didn't know this, this, these words, but from the intuition from the clinic, they divided this, and I think it's, it's uh, in the wisdom of the clinical intuition is very high. And um, yeah. Uh, and now we ask how big is the change, the, the, uh, the power of changing of structural issue without changing anything? The, uh, in, in the clinic system, uh, and we said the the power of ch changing of improvement must be due to the therapeutic community. And then we found a very increasing, uh, a very astonishing result. I never would have expected a very good result. Uh, that now um, in the, uh, we have 91 complete data free costs. We don't know, it's long lasting, it's the very beginning. And we only, uh, the beginning of the clinical treatment at the end. And we have no catamases, nothing. It's the very, very beginning. But what we see, that the, the low level decrease and they walking to a higher level. And we didn't expect this. 
And we know from the research on structural therapy that the, the outcome is related not of the sim the, the, how severe the symptom burden is, how, how severe depression is, it is related to structural in, uh, integration. Uh, so uh, you see that uh, is it, this is uh, this level from uh, uh, from low level they uh, become uh, nearly 10 percent minus it, it war uh, 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 four and a half four and a half percent and the most uh, more than for nearly 11 percent uh, person uh, are walking from the low level to the moderate to low level in the average was a change of a half level of structural integration. I never would expect it because it's a very long lasting thing. It's not changed very quickly. Uh, the idea behind, uh, yeah, and then we make a hit list. What, which uh, structural issues uh, improve most? All uh, Suite 91 complete data. Uh, we have uh, all this, uh, all patient score, uh, bigger than uh, zero means an improvement. And now you see the self-reflection was the first one, then the object regulation, the external communication, self-regulation, and the internal com uh, communication, and then the attachment to external objects. Uh, these are the results. Perhaps it is a, a hypothesis, is to get an, a, a better attachment to external objects, you have to, um, uh, to uh, 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 you have the ability of good functioning of self-reflection, mm -hmm. you reflect your emotions, object regulation that you can regulate, when, uh, this is a training field in the therapeutic uh, community, is all the context and Contracts. Huh? Contracts. Ah, contracts, you know, that where you're training object regulation and self-regulation. You know? So we are now thinking about to translate all the rules of the therapeutic community in structural issues and to train the patient to to, to, uh, to make uh, give information about uh, what is structural functioning and all these things. And this is a training program to uh, that this ability becomes better. What was very uh, astonishing that object uh, perception didn't function quite well. So I think the community has a problem because this must be better. This means the self and object differentiation. As a, the, if we have no, we call normally we have no boundaries in, in this uh, uh, abuse people. This is a, on, on, uh, translated in structural items. It's a, um, a less. Uh, ability of um, self and object differentiation. And then you, 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 you percept the object as a very, very dangerous uh, uh, object and so on. So this may be an issue we have to work on. Uh, the conclusion uh, we made as a hypothesis, the therapeutic community can be seen as a structural training area. We have concerning the level of integration of personality not being focused on the BP process only. We have to focus the architecture of the therapeutic community, for instance, as Arriba, as founded by Dan Kessel. And this type of therapeutic community has a big impact of changing the level of uh, uh, structural integration. But that's only, you know, a little play. So perhaps you can change Arriba in excellent training of structural ability in the RTSR. Uh, so. uh, whatever. We need more investigation to understand theoretically and practically the architecture of the therapeutic community founded and developed in Ariba by Del Kessel, which enables a better structural functioning to reach the meta target of BP uh, from unsecure to secure attachment. And changing from unsecure to secure uh, attachment behavior is not only um, um, the impact of the BP group, uh, it's also an uh, impact of structural maturing. And now I understand better the combination between two. And this would, I would recommend, uh, because the therapeutic, the idea, the idea of the therapeutic community becomes less and less important. 
But all the clinicians, they know how big the impact is. Yeah? And perhaps we, we only can communicate it when we know what's going on. And my hope, this is only a vision, uh, is when we can uh, prove that um, the, the, psycho, uh, the therapeutic community is um, the architecture of the intestinal, improve the, uh, the structural abilities, and we can correlate it with the symptom release and all these other things. Uh, then we can have a, a good, uh, you know, to go to the insurance company on, and, and then they pay it. In, 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 uh, for instance, in, uh, in Bad Herrenalp, the, the Deutsche Rente didn't pay this. I think it's a drama, but uh, uh, didn't pay the Herrenalp hotel anymore. In, in Grönenbach, the whole, uh, what I built up, there is completely uh, pushed down. Uh, they look for a new, new uh, head with another theory and so on. And the assurance company said, we don't pay this because it is, even it is uh, only when it is empirically proved. And uh, <coughs> so to come to the end, also further challenges in my point of view, managing diversity of BP not to become dog dogmatic, but not to lose the identity. Now what is the core thing? Mm -hmm. We have to discuss about this. Uh, trauma issues, indication, contraindications of BP, I think this is very necessary because it's very dangerous. Because if you train now young therapists, and they didn't know which, which risk they take. Uh, you say, okay, this all okay, falling, you can do this. This is not a caring position for the young psychotherapist because they can uh, go into an ethical track because the society, when something goes wrong, there will be a, a big uh, negative consequences. Uh, so it's, it's my fantasy. Then the structural issues, how to develop structural abilities, this, which, en which enable secure attachment, and then to develop a theory of therapeutic community as a structural training area. And this was, uh, when I deal with this problem, the old vision of Walter Le Lechler, living learning community. This describes exact, because abilities you have to learn. It's not a, a, a question of emotional insight and all these things. Right? And uh, um, I hope, I, I, I personally wouldn't take part on this next evolution I have to hold, and, and I'm, I'm interested in, in other topics more in forgiveness and guilt, because forgiveness and guilt are repairing attempts to repair bounded attachment relationship. And it's, a, it's the same topic, but on another level. Uh, uh, and this is what I'm now in, in, uh, interested in. Uh, and what I would uh, recommend for you and the new leader, of, uh, and hopefully the young generation have to take, take over now, we are senior therapist, uh, we have step back a little and the young has to come forward. And uh, this would be my personal recommendation uh, topics and challenges in the future. Yeah, thank you very much. we have uh, and make it concrete uh, and certainly for uh, the work with young people and the therapeutic community and the combination of young people. So I look forward to this group. Thank you.